With all due respect to our friends at Cedar Point, for me, Aerosmith's rock and roller coaster at Hollywood Studios is the best of its kind. Not just at Disney World, but anywhere. So when I told Cavs coach David Blatt during a recent chat we had about my vacation that my favorite ride was a roller coaster, he laughed and tossed up his hands. I don't want any part of that, he cracked. My whole life's a roller coaster. Before you consider anything else about the Cavs coach, start with this. In David Blatt's first year in the NBA, his team made it to the finals and won two games. Who else could pull that off and yet be described as maligned when the season ended? Welcome to Blatt's roller coaster. Almost nothing about his rookie season was easy. He signed on in Cleveland before LeBron James or Kevin Love arrived. David didn't complain about those guys, of course, but the team he came here to coach was gone a young bunch replaced by a team bursting with superstars, egos, and expectations. Those players, namely LeBron, didn't adapt to David early. His personality irked them. His lack of NBA experience was bothersome. David was also often confrontational with the media, making few friends at a time when it was growing more obvious by the day that he and LeBron weren't clicking. Soon, the Cavs were 19 and 20, and David Blatt was seemingly one more loss from losing his job before it really even started. He recovered, of course. The Cavs gelled, blasting through the regular season and scrapping their way through injuries to reach the finals. David didn't get enough credit for the Cavs' turnaround. The team's loaded with talent. Blatt's no longer a rookie, and LeBron didn't push for a change. There should be no roller coaster this time. Unless, of course, the Cavs get off to another rocky start. Let's see here. Kyrie Irving's knee. Kevin Love's shoulder. Timofey Mozgov's knee. And Tristan Thompson's contract. Oh, and games in Chicago, Memphis, and at home against the Heat to begin the 2015 campaign. Buckle up.